Originally in Spanish, February 2023. Hello, Yazzie. Is there anything new with all of the fuss about shot down UFOs? Is it more of a distraction or is there clearly an agenda? It's still early, but the Tigetans from their CIC feel it could be part of the fake alien invasion agenda. Because as far as real ET movements, again, as I was telling you last week, nothing is happening. This smells of cabal manipulation and agendas. There is a lot of fuss over the net with the news that the USA and Canada shut down ET craft. And since they are giving it a lot of media attention, we know it is something they are plotting. Or else they would silence the news, they would not broadcast it. So we conclude that it is something they want people to think. Nothing extraterrestrial, at least was shut down. Viera traffic control indicates all quiet in the region. The hoax, or the mess, is coming from Earth. Oh, and about the ISS supposedly publishing shots of spherical craft. It's there, but it's not the size they tell you, nor does it serve what they tell you. And since its mission is classified, no, I repeat, they would not give the people tracking. It is a cover to hide ETs. They edit everything that really comes from the ISS. So what they show is because they want people to believe that. It's all manipulated. Nothing official at any level is real information. Everything is manipulated in order to control the perception of the greater public. I do not, I repeat, I do not have any record of any drone, nor any craft of non-human origin shot down in the last days or even years. Humans make up their own stuff and pursue their own inventions. It all smells like a fake alien invasion. There are always real drones, and have been since the beginning of time, whatever that means. Just that from here, I have no evidence of unusually high drone traffic. Toleka is in low orbit. Everything that comes in and out of Earth, Toleka and CIC's AI finds out. But why would the aliens come if they don't exist for humanity. Although it seems contradictory, everything indicates that the Cabal is preparing something along the lines of a fake alien invasion to force humanity to unite against an external threat and thus implement the New World Order. With restrictions and with injected digital identifiers or whatever so as to be able to distinguish between humans and infiltrating ETs. And this part unfortunately is true, because so many step-downs are already driving the Cabal crazy. Even so, I do not predict that they will do it. It is one of many agendas that they always have, and they go forward little by little with all of them to gradually see which of their agendas best suits the situation of the moment. I also feel that they are experiments, these things or these alien incidents. They remain semi-forgotten until the next thing that they will also provoke and control. I just know that from here nothing is happening nor did more drones enter the Earth than usual. So, knowing them, to me that's fake, manipulated and all, even though supposedly those shots from the ISS will come from a leak to the public. It's always a leak, and it's believed. 
the very same three letter agencies fabricate those videos which then they say are leaks pass them on to the public for conspiracists to bounce their ideas off and waste their time on and in the process they validate the fake alien invasion and in the end the same ones who released the video end up disproving their own supposedly leaked videos because that's the way it suits them everything is coordinated by them when this becomes big and it is almost proof that ETs exist they disprove it but leaving the possibility and so they keep the conspiracists busy so the conspiracists can't see the truth or connect real dots And speaking of the possible fake alien invasion, how would the Federation fit in here? Because it has also been said, thought, that this is why they are being painted as saviors, so that they have their role here. The ones that are painting them as saviors are the ones that are pushing their own concepts and own ideas about the Federation. And it doesn't reflect what it really is. It's not coming from the real Federation. The Galactic Federation of Light is just the Matrix version of the United Federation of Planets and only serves to give contrast to their alien invasion lie agendas and to keep the conspiracists busy. They could, we don't know, use a fake federation of light to help them implement the new world order that has nothing to do with the united federation of planets because the galactic federation of light is a human invention they have psychologists to help them manipulate the masses by giving them a false hope that again comes from a savior external to them that is why the white hats are part of the same thing yes they would put two sides against each other two would be fake false alien invasion and false federation of light neither really existing on one side et invaders shot down etc and then federations of light yes both sides controlled by the cabal and the three-letter agencies and the narrative that it was the humans coordinating themselves all the nations in a joint effort that has united them all we managed to remove the alien threat but all thanks to the galactic federation of light that intervened just when they needed it and now we have to pay them obedience for a better world. Ashtar Sheeran? Vatican? Ashtar is out of fashion. But he is of that group, yes, Vatican, but of course. Although there are levels above the Vatican itself, that too is a public front. Remember everything is laid out like layers of onions. But as Robert said before, it will be a bit complicated because what about then the release of technologies and all that because if you admit that there is the federation of light as saviors where are the technologies they will have some excuse i mean not to give them to the people rather they will use the promise of those technologies to take away people's freedoms for example that they should stop using explosion engines in favor of electric motors which only gives them more control and only the richest will be able to have them leaving the general population on bicycles and on foot this way they would be more controlled and without being able to fight against anything an electric vehicle is useless only with batteries it needs a free energy aerial grid to be efficient. Otherwise, they are just objects of mass control. Another conversation. 
And what are these objects supposedly shot down? If the whole thing is fake, the pictures they show are fake. We are certain that they are created and manipulated images. The public strongly believes when an official media shows them images. They are like a proof for them. With images, they are very easy to manipulate. They are fake videos. And apart from them being fake, do these objects remind you of anything, maybe? Parts of big drones, or what are they supposed to be? A prop. I don't see sense in them with my knowledge of non-human aircraft. As I was saying, images like this are for manipulation purposes. Note the high quality of the image. Look. That could be anything. Look at this. In my opinion, this could be an external sensor pod, like the ones used under the wings of military airplanes. But it wouldn't just float in the air. Yes, it would float if it's sealed. They don't weigh much, but it depends on the model. But it doesn't matter. Most likely, they put it there artificially. Okay, and the CIC is paying a lot of attention to that event or not really? At this point, yes, we paid a lot of attention to it, but we already know a lot, or enough. As Mari says in her video today, the UFO thing is a cover or distractor for other events. Like the train wreck in Ohio that spilled chemicals on a large scale, contaminating everything. And if that wasn't enough, in less than 10 days there were two other train derailments in the USA, also suspicious. When Mari yesterday wrote her video, she said it could be false flag. Today, CIC already knows and confirms that yes, it was false flag, done on purpose. It has all the symptoms of false flag, with the purpose of further disintegrating the US to cause social chaos. But if they set up a false flag, it is for people to see it, for them to react to it. Why then would they create a distraction by shooting down UFOs? I don't have the answer. But you also have to consider that two or more antagonistic groups are fighting for power over the USA, both regressive. But notice the progression of events. The train derailment happens. Then they inform some of the supposed arrival of motherships. Then they get the public's attention with the Chinese balloons. So they start thinking about aerial things. Then they plant videos of UFOs entering the atmosphere. So they say from the ISS, which is more fake than anything. Then they plant information in the media about UFO shootdowns with statements from generals in favor of UFOs. Just connect the dots with the progression of events. Wow, that progression of events is well described. Thank you. You're welcome. What the public does not see is that among the alternative media, there is also controlled dissidence. The three letter agencies that serve the cabal, not the military, pay groups to give false information to different groups of people all over the world in order to misinform the public and to guide their perception in the direction they want. In the English-speaking world, countless channels fell into the trap, which indicates that the English-speaking mentality is more controlled than the Hispanic one. But not all fall into the trap. Some also smelled the rat and are saying that everything is false. There is hope. 